The American compact market exploded in the early 1960s. So to stay competitive, the Rambler American was updated for 1961. Still on a 100 inch wheelbase, it was 173 inches long, weighing 2,500 to 2,700 pounds, priced between $1,800 and $2,400. 136,000 were sold for the year. The 3.2 liter, 196 cubic inch straight six had 90 to 125 horsepower and could do nearly 100 miles an hour, a 12 and a half second zero to 60, and a low 19 second quarter mile. Chevrolet's Corvair of 1960 used the rear-mounted air-cooled 2.3 liter, 140 cubic inch flat six with 80 to 95 horsepower. They were 180 inches long on a 108 inch wheelbase and weighed about 2,300 pounds. Priced just over $2,000, more than 250,000 sold the first year. With a top speed near 100, 60 took just over 12 seconds, and the quarter mile was in the mid-18s. A 62 Monza Spider with the new turbo had 150 horsepower and 210 pound-feet of torque, hitting 60 in just over 8 seconds and doing the quarter mile in the low 16s. Ford introduced the Falcon in 1960 and took fast control of the segment, with first-year sales over 435,000. It used a relatively large 110-inch wheelbase, was 181 inches long, and weighed 2,300 to 2,600 pounds. Initially offered with a 2.4-liter, 144-cubic-inch 6 with 90 horsepower, it soon upgraded to a bigger 2.8-liter, 170, with 101 horsepower. Then with a 4.3-liter, 260-cubic-inch, 164-horsepower, 258-pound-feet of torque V8, a 1960 model started between $2,000 and $2,300, did more than 85 miles an hour, hit 60 in the mid-15s, and the quarter mile in just over 20 seconds. The later V8 model was 3 seconds quicker in the quarter mile and could do roughly 100. The Valiant of 1960 would become a Plymouth for 1961, at least in the U.S. It was 184 inches long on a 107-inch wheelbase, 2,600 to 2,900 pounds, costing $2,100 to $2,600, with first-year sales around $175,000. The 2.8-liter, 170-cubic-inch Slant 6 came in 101 and 148-horsepower versions. The 148-horsepower, 153-pound-foot-of-torque power pack did 60 in under 11 and a half seconds, and the quarter-mile in under 19, with a top speed over 100. A new Dodge Dart replaced the Lancer in 1963. It was 196 inches long on a 111 inch wheelbase and 2,600 to 2,800 pounds, except the wagon. 155,000 were sold with prices around 2,000 to 2,400 dollars. The Slant 6 came in 2.8 liter, 170 cubic inch, 101 horsepower, 155 pound feet of torque, and 3.7 liter, 225 cubic inch, 145 horsepower, 215 pound foot of torque versions. The Big Six did 95 miles an hour, 60 in under 11 seconds, and a high 17 second quarter mile. A 180 horsepower, 260 pound feet of torque, 4.8 liter, 273 V8 would be offered the second year. Mercury's 1960 Comet was not as successful as Ford's Falcon, with 115,000 made, but it shared its engines including the base 2.4 liter, 144 cubic inch, 90 horsepower 6, and like the Falcon, a V8 version was just a few years away. It was bigger at 195 inches long on a 114 inch wheelbase and weighing 2,400 to 2,600 pounds, except the wagon, and started at 2,000 to 2,400 dollars. The updated Studebaker Lark of 1962 and 63 attempted to look more like the Mercedes it shared its dealerships with, offered in a 109 and 113 inch wheelbase at 184 to 188 inches long and weighing 2,800 to 3,300 pounds. Engines included a 2.8 liter, 170 cubic inch, 112 horsepower 6, a 4.2 liter, 259 cubic inch, 180 to 195 horsepower, and 4.7 liter, 289 cubic inch, 210 to 225 horsepower V8, as well as a supercharged 289 horsepower R2 version. Priced between $2,000 and $2,800, nearly $95,000 sold, including the sliding top wagon air. The six sedan could do about 95 and get to 60 in 14 and a half seconds, 
while a 225 horsepower, 305 pound foot of torque V8 coupe was a low 16 second car in the quarter mile and topped out near 120. The Pontiac Tempest of 1961 was similar to its GM counterparts on its 112 inch wheelbase and 189 inch length, as well as its 2,800 to 3,000 pound weight, 2,100 to $2,600 price range, and available 155 horsepower, 3.5 liter, 215 cubic inch V8. Where it differed was its fully independent suspension, limited slip rear transaxle, and the 3.2 liter, 195 cubic inch trophy four cylinder with 110 to 140 horsepower, capable of speeds over 100 miles an hour, 60 below 13 seconds, and the quarter mile below 20. Pontiac would sell just under 100,000 for 1961. Oldsmobile's version, the F85, was also on a 112 inch wheelbase and 188 inches long, weighing 2,500 to 2,800 pounds. Priced between $2,300 and $2,900, just under $75,000 were made, mostly with the 155 horsepower, 210 pound foot of torque, 215 V8, with a top speed over 105, a 0 to 60 under 10 seconds, and a mid 17 second quarter mile. But you could opt for the 185 horsepower power pack, or wait a year for the 215 horsepower turbo version. The Buick Special was also the same car, with the same 155 to 185 horsepower 215 V8, and weighing 2,600 to 2,800 pounds. Priced between 2,300 and $2,800, just under 85,000 sold in 1961, and in 1962 you could get a 3.2 liter, 198 cubic inch V6, with 135 horsepower and 205 pound-feet of torque. For a top speed over 100, a 10 and a half second zero to 60, and a sub 18 second quarter mile. Practically giants compared to the rest of the world. While Britain created the king of small, the PLP 50. It was 54 inches long on a 50 inch wheelbase and weighed about 130 pounds. Approximately 50 PLP 50s were sold at two to 300 pounds each. It used a 50 cc four horsepower single for speeds near 40 miles an hour while getting close to 85 miles per gallon. There was the last Bond mini car, the Mark G of 1961 to 1966. More than 3,200 were made, weighing 800 to 850 pounds. It used a 66 inch wheelbase and was 132 inches long. Initially with a two stroke, 250 cc, 12 horsepower single. And after 1963, a 250 cc, 15 horsepower twin good for about 50 miles an hour. The Mark 7 Reliant Regal of 1962 was 135 inches long on a 76 inch wheelbase and weighed 950 pounds. The 600 cc inline four had 24 horsepower and 28 pound feet of torque for up to 100 kilometers per hour and it could get there in about 55 seconds. British Motors introduced the Mini in 1959 to be sold under several brand names in a hundred countries. On an 80 inch wheelbase it was 120 inches long and 1300 pounds. Initially with an 850 cc inline four with 37 horsepower and 45 pound feet of torque capable of 75 miles an hour and getting to 60 in just over 22 seconds. The Ford Anglia 105E was also introduced in 1959 with a one liter inline four on a 91 inch wheelbase it was 154 inches long and 1,600 pounds. Starting around 600 pounds, over a million would be sold. American market versions had 41 horsepower and 55 pound-feet of torque, could do nearly 75 miles an hour, get to 60 in about 23 and a half seconds, and get 34 miles per gallon. The Imp was Hillman's response to the Mini in 1963. Priced at 500 pounds, it was 141 inches long on an 82 inch wheelbase and 1600 pounds. Power came from an 870 cc inline four with 42 horsepower and 56 pound feet of torque, pushing it above 70 miles an hour to get to 60 in 21 seconds. The Vauxhall Viva was also introduced in 1963. It was 155 inches long on a 92 inch wheelbase, weighing 1600 pounds. The 1100 inline four initially had 44 horsepower and more than 300,000 first generation Viva would be made. 
Austin got the A40 Farina Mark II for 1961. It was 145 inches long on an 87 inch wheelbase and weighed 1800 pounds. Initially with the 37 horsepower 950 cc inline 4, then it upgraded to a 48 horsepower 1100 cc 4. The bigger engine could do 75 miles an hour, got 30 miles per gallon, and cost 700 pounds. The Morris Minor became the first British car to sell a million units. For 1962, it upgraded to an 1100cc engine with 48 horsepower and 60 pound-feet of torque, able to exceed 75 miles an hour and do a low 18 seconds 0 to 60. In France, the Citroën Ami of 1961 was certainly an upgrade from the 2CV. The Ami was 154 inches long on a 95 inch wheelbase and weighed 1,400 pounds. The 600cc Boxer Twin produced 22 horsepower and 30 pound-feet of torque, giving the car a top speed of 65, taking nearly a minute to get there. Renault launched the R3 and R4 for 1961. The same car, with the R3 using a 23 horsepower 600cc 4, and the R4 a 27 horsepower 750cc 4, at least to start. They were 142 to 144 inches long on a 95 inch wheelbase and roughly 1300 pounds. The R4 took nearly 40 seconds to reach 60 on its way to over 65. The Simca Aron P60 ran until 1964 and was simply called the 5 in the US. It had a 96 inch wheelbase, was 165 inches long, and weighed about 2000 pounds. Engines included a 42 horsepower 1100 and a 1300 with up to 70 horsepower and 80 pound-feet of torque, which could do more than 85 miles an hour and get to 60 in 14 and a half seconds. The German Messerschmitt KR200 ran until 1964. The 111 inch long car used an 80 inch wheelbase and weighed 500 pounds. The 10 horsepower single was good for speeds over 55 miles an hour. The glass ISAR came in coupe or combi wagon starting in 1960. On a 79 inch wheelbase, they were 135 inches long and weighed 1400 to 1500 pounds. Available with either a 20 horsepower 28 pound foot of torque 600 or a 30 horsepower 36 pound feet of torque 700 cc boxer twin. The T700 could do nearly 60 and get there in about 33 seconds. Trabant 600 of 1962 to 65 sold more than 105,000 units. On an 80 inch wheelbase, they were 132 inches long and weighed 1,400 to 1,500 pounds. The air cooled two stroke two cylinder had 23 horsepower for a top speed of 100 kilometers per hour or just over 60 miles an hour. The NSU Prince 4 was on an 80 inch wheelbase, was 135 inches long and just over 1,200 pounds. The 600 cc engine had 30 horsepower and 32 pound feet of torque for speeds near 75 miles an hour and taking less than 24 seconds to reach 60. Prices started well below 600 pounds. The Volkswagen Beetle would see an early 60s sales boom in North America and would also see regular updates. For 1961, the 1200 cc engine had higher compression for 34 horsepower and 61 pound feet of torque. And in 1962, it got new bigger taillights. The BMW 700 was made from 1959 to 1964. It was 139 inches long on an 84 inch wheelbase, weighing 1400 to 1500 pounds. The 700 cc flat twin had 35 horsepower and 38 pound feet of torque, giving it a top speed near 75 and a 0 to 60 of less than 26 seconds. Opel's Cadet of 1962 used a 1 liter inline 4, had a 92 inch wheelbase, was 155 to 157 inches long, and weighed about 1500 pounds. With 46 horsepower and 54 pound feet of torque, it could exceed 75 miles an hour, get to 60 in under 19 seconds, and 650,000 would be sold by 1965. The F-102 would be the last DKW before the revival of the Audi name. It was 169 inches long on a 98 inch wheelbase, weighing 2,000 to 2,100 pounds. The 1.2 liter two-stroke inline three produced 68 horsepower and 76 pound-feet of torque for 85 miles an hour and 60 in the high 16 second range.
The small Mercedes-Benz was the 190C of 1961. With more American-like proportions, it was 186 inches long on a 106-inch wheelbase and weighing 2,800 to 2,900 pounds. Over 130,000, with the 90-horsepower, 113-pound-feet of torque inline-4 were sold, which was almost 100,000 less than the 60-horsepower, 87-pound-feet of torque diesel version. But the petrol version was more than 10 miles an hour faster, reaching 90, and 10 seconds quicker to 60, getting there in just under 15. In Italy, Fiat's 500D of 1960 saw a number of minor changes, including the move to suicide doors, with a 499cc, 22 horsepower, 26 pound foot of torque engine. It was 117 inches long on a 72 inch wheelbase and weighed 1,100 pounds. It had a top speed just over 55 miles an hour, taking almost 40 seconds to get there. The Lancia Appia 3rd Series ran from 1959 to 1964, being updated for 1960. It was 158 inches long on a 99-inch wheelbase and weighed 2,100 pounds. The 1100cc V4 had 48 horsepower and 63 pound-feet of torque for speeds over 80 miles an hour, reaching 60 in 21 seconds. Alfa Romeo's Giulietta Berlina for 1961 was 159 inches long on a 94-inch wheelbase, weighing 2,100 pounds. The 1.3-liter inline-4 produced 70 horsepower, 74 pound-feet of torque, exceeding 85 miles an hour, and doing 60 in 16 and a half seconds. Spain had the Sayet 800, a bigger four-door version of the 600, being 137 inches long on an 86-inch wheelbase, weighing 1,400 pounds. The 600cc engine produced 32 horsepower and 38 pound-feet of torque for a top speed near 70 and reaching 60 in 35 seconds. In Sweden, Saab was up to a 9.6. It was 158 inches long on a 98-inch wheelbase and weighed 1,800 pounds. Initially, with an 850cc inline-3 with 42 horsepower and 61 pound-feet of torque, reaching 75 miles an hour, and 60 in 20 and a half seconds. The Czech Skoda Octavia replaced the 400 series in 1959. It was 160 inches long on a 95-inch wheelbase and weighed 2,100 pounds. Available with an 1,100cc engine with 43 to 52 horsepower and 51 to 54 pound-feet of torque, or a 1,200 with 46 horsepower and 62 pound-feet of torque. An 1100 Touring Sport could do nearly 80, and a 23 and a half second 0 to 60. The Soviet Union had the Zaz Zaporozets 965 starting in 1960. It was 131 inches long on an 85 inch wheelbase, weighing 1500 pounds. Starting with a rear mounted 23 horsepower 750 cc V4, and costing 1800 rubles. In 1963, the 965A upgraded it to a 900cc V4 with 27 horsepower. More than 320,000 would eventually be sold, while the Moskvich 407 was 160 inches long on a 93-inch wheelbase, weighing 2,200 pounds, and used a 1.4 liter inline 4 with 44 horsepower and 64 pound-feet of torque, good for 70 miles an hour and 60 in just over 32 seconds. In Japan, the Mitsubishi Minica sedan was introduced for 1962. It was 118 inches long on a 75-inch wheelbase, weighing 1,100 pounds. The 360cc twin made 17 horsepower and 20 pound-feet of torque for a top speed just under 50. By this point, the Subaru 360 was up to 18 horsepower and 23 pound-feet of torque. The 850-pound car was 118 inches long on a 71-inch wheelbase and could do better than 50. Mazda would soon be making the Carroll R360 with 18 horsepower and 15 pound-feet of torque. It was 117 inches long on a 76-inch wheelbase, weighing 1,200 pounds. In 1963, a bigger 126-inch long version with a 28-horsepower, 30-pound-foot of torque, 600cc twin was offered, allowing the car to reach 65 miles an hour and taking less than 34 seconds to reach 60. Toyota's Publica cost 390,000 yen, or about $2,700, in 1961. Just over 43,000 were sold the first year. 
It was 139 inches long on an 84 inch wheelbase, weighing 1300 pounds, and used an 800 cc horizontally opposed twin with 32 horsepower. The Daihatsu Compagno was 149 inches long on an 87 inch wheelbase and just over 1600 pounds. Its 800 cc in line 4 produced 40 horsepower and 47 pound feet of torque for a top speed over 65 miles an hour and reaching 60 in under 24 seconds. The 1960 Datsun 310 Bluebird was 154 inches long on a 90 inch wheelbase and weighed about 1900 pounds. U.S. versions of the 1.2 liter had 48 horsepower and 61 pound-feet of torque for a top speed near 75 miles an hour and 60 under 26 seconds. Isuzu introduced the Belay in 1963. It was 157 inches long on a 93-inch wheelbase and weighed 2,000 to 2,200 pounds. It used either a 1.5 liter with 62 horsepower and 81 pound-feet of torque or a 1.8 liter diesel with 50 horsepower and 81 pound-feet of torque. Gas versions could almost reach 90 and took 15 and a half seconds to get to 60. Clearly small could mean very different things in different parts of the world. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment below and like and subscribe. <laughs>